fruit. A little update on the program for the boys here. I got to keep my Twitter on fire. I mean, lots lots going down today. It's been a busy day for for just the portal and whatnot. But let's talk about Florida Gator recruit real quick. Uh, Jawan Johnson, who just decommitted from Colorado, which was big in my opinion uh, for, for everyone involved. Because, uh, again, this was, in my opinion, Colorado's first big commit, especially pulling him over LSU and Florida, which was his top three during his commitment. And for him to decommit um, right after the the spring game, and then it, it, it led to a domino of you know players leaving. It felt like he's just like it, there's a there's like a, a bomb went off at Colorado. But he is now scheduled an official visit to Florida. And what sucks about this is that you would once get excited about these official visits, and I realize now like they mean absolutely nothing because <laughs> you get unlimited official visits. So look. It's still good that he's wanting to have an official visit. Why wouldn't you, obviously? But because uh, there's a few guys on this list that I, we're going to go over today that have an official visit. And I was like, oh, hell, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> it, it's, it's not what it used to mean. And so, like, I think going back, we talked about this last week a little bit. That is the downfall, right? Steve was kind of adamant that it sucks. And it does because you, you really don't have a pulse now on how, how intrigued he is with a certain program based on these visits. We, we don't, you know what I mean? Before you had some insight. And to be fair, I've always kind of, uh, you know, projected out there that I, I'd rather not know. I like being surprised. Uh, so maybe that's going to help with that. But it, it is nice having a top five, like knowing that I am on the lottery ticket. You know what I mean? I want to know that my ticket's in the, in, in, the, in the barrel with a few people. Now everyone gets a raffle ticket. And that's that kind of kills the excitement a little bit. What is this real fast, not to cut you off, but what is this going to do to the hat on the table, like, set up now? Are there going to be, like, 72 hats, one I for I mean, they'll still have a top five, I'd imagine, right? They're still going to do sure. that. It just, you you, <laughs> you got to know in the back of your mind that, like, okay, once those are five official visits, that doesn't mean anything anymore. So, look, we're, it's gonna, we're, we'll see how it plays out. We'll see how it, how, it, how it flows through the year and how that, how the new system with the official visit, you know, plays into the hats and whatnot. Yeah, it's still really early. Uh, somebody referred to Steve Wilfong just dropping a crystal ball to LSU for this guy, but still really early in the process. Um, it, it is a good omen that, you know, once he had decommitted, he immediately set up that Florida visit. So that that kind of, you know, puts, I guess, some, some ideas in a Florida Gator fan's head. But it, it's still so early in the cycle, man, that, that, I mean, he's from Lafayette, too, in, in Louisiana. So, of course, that LSU crystal ball basically based on the area that he's from i don't blame the crystal ball for that but you know he's got a long time to go and he's got official visits uh lots of them so uh, i i mean as far as the crystal ball that wilt Pong put down i'm not going to say that he's wrong or he's right because he's been right on a lot of prospects in his time as a uh reporter there but um it's just too early i mean it's too early for me to even if he's to pick lsu would he decommit <laughs> i mean he, you don't know april May, June, July, August. I mean, I can go through all the months. It's going to be a long time, but that that's the case for any recruit right now. So um, I think it was interesting, though, that he did set up a visit immediately after. An official visit, mind you, okay? Yeah, official visit, which means a lot right now. <laughs> um, 